Have you picked up the gin sample and the muskets? Good job. Now, listen. When we barter with the chief, you'll do the talking since you speak their language. It works like this. You agree on the number of slaves we get per unit of our merchandise. When you have a price, confirm with me that we can accept it. I need you to get Mr. Blother Bloom a good price, so we can get as many slaves stashed on the ship as possible. That's the spirit! I knew you wouldn't... I'm writing some medical poetry while killing time. Care to listen? It's very cultured. A bit like Shakespeare, if I may say so. Kidneys are red, eyes sometimes blue. Welcome to my humble home. I'm looking forward to this negotiation. I see that you will do the talking. I trust you'll tell your master exactly what I say. This is a matter between merchants. Don't meddle with grown men's affairs. You have had time to inspect my slaves, so we'll jump straight to the offer. I'll trade you 20 females and 10 children for each unit of your brandy. You want less than what I offer you? Fine by me. You have done the slaves a favor too. I wish you the best of luck trying to explain it to your master. That took some time, Tim. What have you got for me? Fifteen females and five children? Seven skipping sea cows. Couldn't you get a better deal than that? Ya useless sea urchin. Now that's using your empty little jar of a head, Tim. Thinking like a true merchant indeed. So, what did your master say? I'm glad we could reach an agreement this easily. Male slaves. I'll give you 30 strong male slaves for each unit of your muskets. That took some time, Tim. What have you... 30 male slaves? I expected we'd get more, but it's pretty fair. We'll trade some units and then check the price further down the coast. Tell him we accept. So, what did your master say? Very good. I think we've done what we needed to get done today. When you've finished dragging the trade's goods up from the beach, we'll bring you your new slaves. Tonight, we shall have a great feast and sow the seeds of future trade talks. Tell your master that one of my men will come get you. I'll go back to the ship. You play around or do whatever you want for a couple of hours. I picked the flower. Thanks, brother. I think so, too. What happened in the chief's hut? What did the two of them talk about? I hate that they treat us as mere trade goods. Are we nothing more to these people? Why did you have to be in there? Good job! The fewer slaves the whites buy, the fewer people will suffer from torture and suffering. What's going to happen next? When do we get a chance to escape? You're back! When will we get a chance to escape? Hello, Tim. I can't wait until we get out of this area. The smells and the heat are sure getting to me. As soon as we get the merchandise on board, they'll be stowed below deck. 
Then, we'll set out for Cape Coast, where we'll load another batch of slaves. We'll spend about two more months bartering along the coast, and then some weeks on the Middle Passage. A word on the travel from Africa to the New World. It forms the middle part of a triangle. From Europe to Africa, from Africa. I hope to bring about 300, depending on stowage and prices. We'll see what the cost is further down the coast, and how well we can stack them. We'll spend about two more months part. You're back! When will we get a chance to escape? Will we have room to move around there? Can we maybe take over your ship? How many do you think we're going to be? No time to be funny, Pootage. Be serious. There's hope if we just do... When will we stop sailing? When do we reach our destination? That sounds great! I had expected more suffering! Did you find out how long the journey will take? Alright! Let me hear it! How long will it take before we get off the ship again? That sounds great! I Did you find out how long the journey will take? Alright! Let me hear it! We'll be patient like a butterfly waiting in its cocoon. This flower is a sign that we'll make it in the end no matter what. Are you ready to help with stacking the slaves? We need to get as many on board as we can. We'll sail at dawn if possible. Tim, you'll not be attending the feast tonight. You'll stay on the ship with the slaves. So when you start stacking slaves on board, you should make sure you're ready to leave this village. Slave traders didn't look upon slaves as people but as a product. They therefore staked the slaves on top of each other to get as many as possible shipped. This was certainly not nice. Good job! <laughs> May my guards protect me. My only hope is that they'll treat us with some respect before they eat us. What do you think, little girl? Do you know what is going to happen to us? That comforts me a bit. That must also mean they won't let us die down here. Uh, these chains won't hold me for long. The animal inside me roars for freedom. Plans? I'm not planning. I'm pure doing. Pure action, pure dynamite. No plan. Watch me rip these chains apart with my bare hands. <laughs> Must tear. Oh. Must break shackles. Maybe that food they serve has weakened me. No, I must give up. Pure dynamite power. I will bite through it. <laughs> Ouch. Chipped a tooth. 
I can't break these chains. I have failed. You must help me, little girl. Get to talk to that boy of theirs, the one that is like us. He must be able to find the keys for our shackles or something like that. Do you think you can convince him? Hordes of hiccuping hurricanes. Good thing you're here. Dr. Eagle Edge has his hands full, so he needs assistance. Whether it's that useless cook or something else, I don't know. But every stomach on board is acting up. There's illness in all four directions of the compass. Oh, the air below deck smells worse than my socks on a Sunday. So we've dragged most of the slaves up on deck to get some fresh air. Find the doctor and help him out. So glad you're here. The world below deck is so horrible, and I need your help. Just do as your masters tell you for a start. Then, when you have the time, and it seems inconspicuous, find me and we'll talk. Do you have some time to help me with all these sick people? Very good. I need you to help me separate those with scurvy from those with other diseases, so we can treat people correctly. First thing you should do is check their gums. If the gums are shrinking and the roots of the teeth are visible, it's a bad sign. If the gums bleed, it's also bad. Then take a good look at their skin to check if it's full of spots and dots. And finally, ask them if they have problems with nosebleeds. Very good. Soon you'll be as good as me. Go diagnose the woman called Akim. She's at the back of the ship. Do you know anything about what the man with the funny hat is looking for? Why is he studying our teeth and skin? Is he trying to tell our fortunes from looking at our teeth and gums? Or is he checking whether we brush them? What is he checking for? Well, I don't quite get it. I think you should ask him, since you can talk to him. I'd be glad if you could find out. Is he trying to tell our fortunes from looking? What causes this scurvy thing? Does it attack our people only? Or can the whites also get it? Is it a common thing? I see. I'll probably go free anyway. I never get sick when we travel. Not even when traveling very far. Dinner isn't ready yet, but there's plenty of reason to be excited. I learned today's recipe from a starving unicorn I met when I was in Atlantis. It had only hooves, so it couldn't chop the vegetables. Anything else? The dish of the starving unicorn of depends on who you are. Today is salted dried pork day, so you get some weak and sour beer and some biscuits almost free of beetles or worms. The slaves will share some buckets of broad bean mush.
I feel very ill. What? How can you do that? What do you need? What kind of offering do the gods need? I'm ready to submit to almost anything to end this suffering. My gums are shrinking, but I've not experienced bleeding gums. Not that we'd need to chew that awful gruel stuff they give us. No, I don't think so. I think all my marks are bruises and sores from lying chained on the wooden splintery planks in the dark belly of the ship. Only when I fell face first, because I couldn't find my balance while wearing chains. Nothing is good here. Everything is trouble and pain. So do these answers tell you what is wrong with me? What will happen to me? So, did you decide on your diagnosis? Do you think it's the scurvy that has taken hold of her body? So, what is your verdict? Did she have scurvy or not? Oh, that's too bad. With that cork and our food situation, we might as well... Anyway, speaking of food, get me a cup of fresh water for this fellow. Ask Mr. Wallace. He's in the cargo hold down that ladder next to us. He's master of supplies, so you have to go through him. The dish of the starving unicorn of Atlantis isn't ready yet. Anything else you need to know? Who said you could have that? Fresh water is a precious resource on this ship. Never go on an adventure without fresh water. Adventurer rule number six. I obey only the captain, so I'll have to ask him first. We can't risk running too low on food or drinking water. Now you're talking. Just take some water from the barrel over there. But if you don't bring me some of that brandy, I'll tell on you. And then I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Did you get the water from Mr. Wallace? The dish of the starving unicorn of it depends on... The dish of the starving depends on who you are. Did you get the water from Mr. Wallace? Honey and hummingbirds, sea breeze and brandy is the perfect recipe for a nice voyage. Anything you need to know? A total of 312. Well, considering we didn't spend more than... Honey and hummingbirds.
Honey and hummingbirds. Slippery's not slipper. Are you thinking about stealing my brandy? I'm not telling you where I keep it. My mouth is shut like the lid of a treasure chest. Footage. What can I... Did you get the water from Mr. Wallace? That just makes me sad. Maybe I should write a sad poem about it. Anyway, you're free to go, Footage. See if anybody else needs some help around here. below deck that there's still hope. I need to help one of them. His name is Darbo. I need you to find me a key or something that will unlock his shackles. Trust me on this one. I think it might help us in the long run. We help him and then maybe he will help us once he's free. He's no team player, but at least he's fair. Did you find the key, brother? Put it, you lazy landlubber. Where are you? <laughs> 